What's going on everyone? This is Dom and today we're taking a look at the best budget smartphones in 2016 and boy are there a lot of them. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first up, we're talking about this guy, which is the Blue R1 HD. And at 49 bucks, yes, $49 total, unlocked and off contract, you're getting yourself a five inch 720p display, one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion, up to 64 gigabytes. There's even an eight megapixel camera around the backside and a nice premium aluminum frame. And it just feels good in the hand. And really, you can't argue with 49 bucks. Now there are some ads on the lock screen, which you can get rid of for an additional $50, but they don't really bother me. And if you wanna step things up a bit, get an extra gig of RAM and an extra eight gigabytes of storage, you can pay $59. But overall, I mean, the $49 device, you really can't beat it. Next up, we're taking a look at the Moto G4, the G4 Play, and the G4 Plus. And while all three of these are pretty epic budget smartphones, I gotta give the overall win to the Moto G4. So with the G4 Play, you're on the lower end side of things. It's only gonna be 149 unlocked and off contract. But if you step it up, to the G4 or the G4 Plus, you're getting a whole lot more here. With the G4, we have two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. There's a 5.5 inch 1080p display, an eight megapixel camera around the back. And you know what, overall, this is not a bad phone, especially considering that this does have some nano water repellent on it, so it can actually take some splashes and things like that as well. And everything there can be had for just $179, which is pretty smooth. On the other hand, if you want to step things up another 70 bucks for the G4 Plus, you are getting a few extra features here, which include a fingerprint scanner on the front side, a 16 megapixel camera around the back, and a larger 3000 milliamp hour battery. Moving along here, we have the Zenfone 3 Max, and this thing packs a ton of phone for the money. I picked it up for 129 bucks at Best Buy, but it normally retails for 149, which still isn't bad, though I'll try to leave a link to the deal I found in the description. But this phone, not only does it have a 5.2 inch 720p display around the front side, on the back we have a 13 megapixel camera and right below that there's even a fingerprint scanner. Now, that's not even the best part. This thing packs a 4100 milliamp hour battery, which is crazy in itself, but there's also an included adapter that will allow you to charge up any other USB device using this phone. So essentially this is a phone and a portable battery pack at the same time. Not only that, but you're getting two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage and yes there's a micro SD card expansion and all of that like I said can be had for retail of 149 but if I find a better deal I will link it below for you up next we're taking a look at the iPhone SE and this is actually a newer device despite it looking like something from generations ago so this is actually $399 and while that may not be budget in comparison to everything else here it's budget according to Apple so there's that the iPhone SE packs a four inch display I know hot fire it's also got 16 gigabytes of storage and around the back we have a 12 megapixel camera that's capable of shooting up to 4K video. Not only that, because it's a newer Apple device, it's actually going to run just as fast as the iPhone 6S, and it even includes Apple Pay, so you can get all your mobile payments done right here on this tiny little phone. So here we have the Axon 7 Mini, and this phone is actually pretty special. So first off, it retails for $299, and around the front we have a 5.2 inch 1080p display. It's an AMOLED display at that, so it looks very sharp, nice colors. There's also three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. A couple of things though that make this phone shine are definitely the dual front facing speakers here which sound incredible and blow most any other phone out of the water. There's also a 16 megapixel camera right here on the backside and below that we have a fingerprint scanner and inside of here everything is powered by a 2700 milliamp hour battery and for 300 bucks it's not that bad but you might want to save a little more and get the full sized Axon 7 if you're into a little bit of a bigger phone. Finally, we're taking a look at the Alcatel Idol 4S. And this thing is $399, which is definitely at the very top end of what I would consider budget, but it does include a 5.5 inch QHD display around the front side, which is definitely awesome. There's three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage that is also expandable with a micro SD card slot and dual front facing speakers here as well. 
One of my favorite things about the Auto 4S though has to be the camera because it absolutely kills it. And I'll link this review and all the reviews for every other smartphone mentioned here in the description in case you wanna go check them out. But it also does pack a 3000 milliamp hour battery and it even comes with a pretty dope VR headset as its packaging. Like I said though, this is $399 and I'd almost consider just saving up an extra 30 bucks and getting yourself a OnePlus 3T. But this is a solid smartphone nonetheless. So before I get out of here today, I wanna know which of these budget smartphones are your favorites. Drop a comment below or let me know if I missed one that you feel should have been included in the list. And be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe for a ton of awesome content coming out here in 2017. So thank you very much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.